underneath the surface of Mars, you may have all the conditions you need for life. There may be some liquid water down there, and you're also protected from the intense radiation that you find on the surface. Scientists are split on the best underground places to search for Martian life. But if Janie Radabaugh were on Mars, she would head to the nearest sand dune and start digging. Here you can see this is wet sand just below the surface. This is the perfect environment to be able to house life. Even in the very driest deserts on Earth, in between the sand dunes, in the interdunes, you can find water percolating up from springs that come up from deep under the ground, perfect for life to form and grow. And if you just keep on digging down into the bottom of the inner dune, maybe you would reach the water table. And if you reach the water table on Mars, now you have all the conditions just right for life. This is my bed, this is where I'd go, right between the dunes. Digging for Martian life in the desert is one option, but some scientists have very different ideas. And planetary scientist Nina Lanza would need to pack a rope and a flashlight for her search. So if I were to go to Mars to find life, I would go to a lava tube. Lava tubes are made by ancient volcanoes, the empty leftovers from underground lava flows. Today, they form deep tunnels shielded from radiation and shut off from the harsh Martian climate. We've never been in a lava tube on Mars, but it is absolutely possible that there's liquid water. So that's an environment where you could have some moisture, you could have a little warmth, you're protected from radiation. I think that a Martian microbe would be very happy there. Finding any evidence whatsoever on Mars would help us better understand what else is possible. Will the Martians be different than us? Made from different materials and with a different biochemistry? Or will they be shockingly familiar? Some scientists think that the very first Martian life may not have stayed on Mars. It's not that far-fetched to think that life could have jumped from Mars or been back and forth from Mars to Earth. Could the Martians have seeded life on our planet? Maybe the Martians aren't dead. Maybe I'm a Martian. Maybe you're a Martian. 